What's up YouTube, John Wales, and today I'm going to be showing you how to change out your broken Traxxas Stampede RC Differential, and it also might work on Slashes or any other Traxxas one-speed RC cars. We can start by removing the clips from the shell. Now we can take our four-wheel tool and take off our tire. Repeat the process on the other side. You can use the tire as a jack. Take off any screws to hold on the wheelie bar or rear bumper. Now we can take off the gear cover. Now we can take off the two rear shocks. Now take off the four screws holding on the rear shock tower. Once that is removed, you can disconnect the wires to the motor. Now we can take off the top A-arms. You can now remove the rear shock tower. Remove the six screws holding on the skid plate. Remove these two holding it on as well. The whole rear section should come off. You can now take out the set screws for the axles. There are four of them. With two on each axle. Do the same thing on the other side. We can now take off our lower A arms. Slide the pins out. They should now fall off. Take off the two screws holding the motor in place. You can now take out all the screws holding the case together. Now we can take off our gasket for the bottom of the gear case. I used duct tape in the past. You can now split the case. Take the differential out. It's just hard to Here I've shown you the gear. You do not have to take it apart. You can now start assembling your new differential as you see here. Now get your provided grease and fill up the differential with it. 
You do not have to use the entire tube, just enough to fill it. You can now put the two sides together. Spin it so you make sure it is working properly. You can now fasten it with all of the provided screws. Put the bearings back into the case if they came out when you took out your original differential. Slide in your new differential. Use some high pressure black grease to fill the case. Put the two sides of the case together. Get a piece of duct tape as your gasket for the bottom of the case. Do not worry about blocking the holes, the screw will go right through them. Put all the screws in forward of the case and reattach the motor. Use some thread locker for the axle set screws. You can now reinstall your A-arms. Reinstall all the screws for the bottom and take the skid plate section and put it onto the main frame. You can now slide your wires through your rear shock tower and mount your upper A-arms. Now slide on your rear bumper. And attach it. Plug in your motor wires with black going to black and red going to red. Now you can reinstall your upper shock mounts. Put on the hex onto your axle and tighten it down with an allen wrench as a set screw. You can slide your wheel on and hand thread your nut on. Use your four way tool to tighten it down. You can slide your body on and put the clips on. Thanks for watching. This is John Wheels. Remember to like and subscribe and leave a comment below to tell me what you thought.